One of the great things about fishing is no matter how long you've been doing it and how, how experienced you are, there are always new things to learn and new things to experiment, experiment with. And basically that's how we develop as anglers. We try new things, we try new lures, and sometimes they work and you stick with them. Some, sometimes, they, sometimes they don't work and you, and you think, oh, forget it, and you go back to lures that you're more, more confident with. But apart from that, we can also learn, and do learn, quite a lot from other countries, the way the methods that other countries use. For our, for our species, for the same species, or for different species, but that, that, that method may work in the UK. So it's great to learn new things and try new things. So anyway, about a few years ago, I can't remember how many years ago now, I did a video about lure fishing in the surf. Now, it wasn't lure fishing in the surf with your sort of conventional lures. Let's, what I mean by that is, let's say, soft plastics and plugs. It was using metal lures, spinners. And the reason for that is, is that metal lures, let's say, that weigh anything from, say, 30 grams up to about 60 grams, can cope can cope better in the surf and if, if there's a bit of a wind you can you can blast them out into that wind into that surf they'll cope with the surf they'll cut in uh, and you can fish the surf and it is definitely a successful way of targeting bass in the surf and many UK, UK anglers are now using metal lures in the surf and and being successful so after I've done this video someone contacted me from Portugal. His name's Victor, or it might be called Vic. He contacted me and he said, look, he said, take the hooks off your metal lure and replace it with a soft plastic. He said, you'll thank me later. And I thought about this and I thought, yeah, I, I, I definitely see that could be a good, a good idea. But anyway, it, it went by and I, and I never really took it up. But Vic, Victor, he's got his own channel and I kept checking out his videos, popping into his channel and I kept seeing him be successful using this method, using a, a metal lure with a soft plastic behind it from the shore, just like we do, fishing rough ground marks or, or surf beaches. And I kept seeing him catch bass and some good bass. So I thought, right. I'm going to contact him. So I contacted him after watching one of his videos. And I said, I said, Vic, what is that soft plastic that you're actually using behind the metal lure? I said, to me, it looks like what we call a gummy mac. One of these. Your gummy mac that they use, for, they use and, I, and, I, and I use sometimes for pollock fishing um, or, or, or cod fishing. He said, yes, he said, that, that is what it is. But out here in Portugal, the one I'm using is, is specially made in Portugal. It, and it's called a pingolin, a pingolin. But basically, it is very much like a gummy mac. And he said, he very kindly said, he said, I'll send you some. And he did. And he sent me these lures. He sent me some made up exactly the same as he uses them and he sent me some uh, spare some spares of these pingolins and this is what he sent me all right so what you've got basically got is you've got a metal lure just just this is just a a chrome bar which is slightly kinked Hope you can see it's slightly kinked. I weighed it, it weighs about, this one, roughly about 42 grams. So you've got a swivel at the top, which is what I'm holding. Then you've got a split ring at the top of the, the lure. Then you split ring down the bottom. Now normally, of course, with the conventional metal lure spinners, we maybe have another split ring, and then we would have our hook. We would have either a treble hook or, or a single hook. But it's taken the taken the hook off and then he's fitted to the split ring at the bottom what is known as a quick change swivel 
Can I have a look, look at all of this later, how, the, how these are made up? A quick chain swivel. Then, clicked onto that is a weedless worm hook. And then, the pingolin, or your gummy mac type thing, is then rigged on the end, and in this case it's rigged weedless. So what Vic does, and by the way, I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description, and I'm going to put a link to some of the videos which shows him using this exactly exact lure. And I know he has said it really is, although he uses lots of other lures for bass successfully, this is always his go-to, this is mo his most successful lure. And you'll see in the videos that he's fishing from the shore a very, very rough ground mark made up of rocks, muscle covered rocks, and your shallow gullies uh, and, your, and weedy gullies in between, but shallow, with a bit of surf coming in. Casting, the, casting this out and then just working it, just really in with a few twitches, but working it over this very rough ground. And the way, the reason he can do that, of course, is because it's, everything's weedless. And therefore, cuts right down on, on snags. Can get snagged occasionally, but cuts, cuts right down on the snag. So he's able, he's able to fish this. And sure enough, it is most definitely successful. The evidence is there on film. And some good, some good size bass as well. So I got, started to get really excited about this. But I thought to myself, okay... I can't get this particular bar, this particular metal lure. I think they call it a zai, 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 I tried, but I, but I couldn't. But I can, I can get these pink, these pingolins. There's a site in Portugal that that sells them, and I contacted them. I said, "Do you export to the UK?" They said, "Yeah. All you got to, all you got to do is, you just register, register." and that you'll find an option and check out to to export to the UK and, and they're very very cheap uh, these one this one by the way is about 12 centimeters per perfect size and the other thing to note is that it's it's slim it's very slim so therefore when you cast in it there's not much resistance now I've of course have been down experimenting not properly fishing with it yet, but experimenting with this. And what happens when you cast it out? Obviously, it's got the weight. This is slim, but it goes through the air. It all fall, folds back like that, and therefore it's able to cut through, cut through the wind, and therefore you can get deep distance. So I thought, okay, right, I can get these ping, these pingolins. But what about what about what alternatives have we got in the UK to the to the metal lures that are similar, but also soft plastics that might be similar so again experiment and i thought well okay fine a, a good lure that we use in the uk that catches bass many anglers use it as a metal lure is the dexter wedge so i've got the dexter wedge there taking the hooks off and again done exactly the same put a quick chain swivel on and then rigged one of these pingolins weedless so that's one option Another option I found is a similar metal lure is the Tsunami Slim Wave in the, the appropriate weight. Again, slightly kinked, it gives it action. Exactly the same rigging down the end with the quick chain swivel and the pingolin. And there's another one that's, uh, that's an option, it's called a Halco Twisty. So these just basic silver, slightly kinked chrome lures. But the soft plastic, what about soft plastics if you don't want to go and buy these from Portugal? So again, experimenting, I thought, okay, right, why not a sluggo? Got a, I think this is a three and a half inch sluggo, but I've also got a four inch sluggo. sluggo. Nice and slim, so you get, don't get that resistance when you cast it. Again, rigged exactly the same. That's one option. And there's, of course, there's, there's, there's other options. You could just put, uh, if, you, if you don't want to go weedless, you can just use an ordinary gummy mac behind, non weedless. In fact, another chap from Portugal contacted me 
follows my channel, he saw a comment when I was talk, uh, talking uh, comments to, to, to Vic about it. He said, oh, he said, you can, we also use, because this method is very popular in Portugal, we just also use just the ordinary gummy mac, which of course we can get in the UK. You can get them, should be able to get them about 12 centimetres. None weedless, and you can just clip that on the end. So, that's, so there's another option. Other options, as long as they're slim lures, maybe the smaller red gills. Or oh, I, know, I know some people put on what they call a, a, a ragu, which, which I've never used. So there's lots of options in the UK from the type of, the type of lure, metal lure you can use and the type of soft plastic you can put behind it. All right, so before we have a look at how you make these up, towards the end of the year, just experimenting, I went down to some to the coast at low, at low water, into some of the gullies and some of the rock pools to experiment to see what the action was like on this particular lure. So I, this particular setup. So what I did was I went down with the Dexter wedge and with one of these pingolins rigged on the end but I also went down with the Dexter wedge and put a four inch slugger behind it just to see what the action is. So before I carry on we'll have a look at some of the footage of me just showing the action as this setup is wound through, the, wound through the water and you can definitely see when you look at these you can definitely see why this is a su successful method out in Portugal. Well, hopefully you saw there how how good that looks going through the water, what a great action it's got, and how it just looks like a sandal going through the water. And I certainly can definitely see why this is a successful method out in Portugal for, for their bass fishing. But I forgot to mention, I've also seen this, this setup, this chaser setup used out in the US when they're fishing for striped bass, so it's not just Portugal that use it. But there may, may be people and there probably are that, that in the UK that are all, already using this method. And if so, and they watch this video, then please con put, a, put a comment in and, and relay your experiences and, and how you set up and, and whether it's been successful, su successful for you or not. All right, so I'm going to go through this, different ways you can set this up. So you've got your metal lure, your spinner, of whatever your choice is. In this case, the Dexter Wedge. There's plenty of others, just basically a silver, simple silver, chrome lure, which has had its hooks removed. Then you've got your soft plastic, whatever soft plastic you decide to use. Um, we'll have a closer look now at these pinglins, which are, as I said, very similar to the Gummy Max. So they've got the end there, which is split in half, so it gives it plenty of movement, just like the end of a Gummy Mac is split to give movement. Slight difference though is that with these ones that are made in Portugal is it's a closed end but it's got a little hole for you to pop the hook in and, and, and rig it. But basically very similar to the Gummy Mac. Then you've got one of these quick change swivels. And there you go, QC swivel size 8, which I believe are mainly used in course fishing. But I, I, had, I had no problem getting, getting a, a little box. So you've got your quick chain swivel. And then if you're going to go weedless, you're going to rig uh, weedless. I've got a weedless worm hook. In this case, it's a, it's a 2 -0, and I've used uh, the VM, VMC strong worm hook 
size 2.0 for the for the pingolin. Okay, so the first thing if you're going to go weedless is to rig the soft plastic up weedless, and basically it's exactly the, exactly the same as if you're rigging any weedless weedless hook soft plastic. So just in at the end, out the side, up the shank, up to the eye, but in this case, we're going to push it up over the link of the quick chain swivel. If you see Vic Victor's setup, how it goes right up to the base of the, of the barrel of the swivel there. So I'm just going to push that up like that over the over the link then it, as in any setup like this it's just a matter of judging where to push the point of the hook back up through the soft plastic and what you do is you just you, those of you who've never done it you line it up and try and judge because you try you want to try and get this straight and to me it looks like it should come up about there hopefully this was right yeah there you go there you go like that and of course you can what you do is you just when you're fishing is just pull that back and nick it on nick it in the end in the top of the soft plastic there to make it even more weedless okay so that's your weedless your weedless soft plastic setup then dead simple it's just a matter of taking your metal lure and then just popping that on the end done easy really but if you're not going to go weedless you just pop your quick change swivel on the end of whatever metal lure you're going to use and if and then then just clip in this case the gummy mac clip that if i can find it on the end and just get yourself for your your um suppliers or something and just pinch that down make sure that's pin pinched down just to close the gap up and that's the the other alternative well i hope you uk bass anglers out there that have never never seen this sort of setup before found that interesting now what I was hoping to do was late, later on in the year is actually go out and, and use this method and actually show it catching, catching bass in Cornwall. But I decided to do an intro to, to the setup now, mainly because of this lockdown period and not being able to get out to do any fishing. But what I will try to do is get a video out later on in the year. That's is if and when we, we are able to, to do some fishing again, hopefully in time of uh, and show this method catching catching our bass but please do check out Vic's channel it's called Vico Levera Fishing from Portugal I'll put a link to the channel in the description and I'll put a link to some of the videos which show him catching bass from the shore using that setup and I'm sure many of you will, 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 bass anglers will find, will find that interesting and it will show that it definitely works. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching. <laughs>